have another special tape that we want to show you uh, regarding some action that happened last Saturday night right here at the Portland Sports Arena. As you know, the grappler uh, made not only disparaging remarks about Rip Oliver's uh, brother, Jerry, but he attacked him physically right up here in the crow's nest. Well, that didn't set too well with, with the crippler. And a lot of things happened last Saturday night in the ring. And I'll tell you what, at one point, Rip Oliver's son, Larry Oliver, brought a special tool to the ring just to kind of help his dad. And, and uh, this is what happened. Watch this. Both men try, trying to get to their feet. The grabs are reaching over for the rope. And Oliver, Oliver just trying to get to, to his feet. Both men, both men now, but the grappler got to Oliver first. And both men go for the same punch and hit each other. Man, I tell you, what are we, we're fighting in stereo here. Both men going for the same move and the same punches. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. What's this? That's Larry Oliver. That's Rip Oliver's son. And he brought out a, a that's one of those logger tools. I think they call that a cheater bar. Isn't that what they call? Yeah, that's a cheater bar. Oliver now has in his hands a cheater bar, and the grappler's got that chemical stuff. He's got that, he's got that liquid that he blinds people with. He's, he has broken it now, and he's gonna spray it all over Oliver. Oh! <laughs> no. no, sir. The grappler just took a cheater bar right in the gut from Rip Oliver. And now Oliver, look, who's got the deadliest weapon? Huh? Who's got the deadliest weapon? Oliver misses. He misses again, but he's got the grabber on the run. He's got the grabber on the run. His son, Larry Oliver, brought him that tool, that cheater bar. And, and now the grabber comes back with a boot. And now grab the, Oliver comes back, and he's choking the grabber with that bar. And the grappler's got that, that liquid stuff all over him. And that, that's got to be burning him right now. Everything's backfiring on the grappler. Wait a minute, there's Scotty the body. Scotty the body trying to pull Oliver off of the grappler, and there's Al Madrill in there. What is this crap? Now, we got everybody in there. There's Rex King, Jonathan Boyd, Steve Dahl, Bill Francis. The ring has filled with men from both sides. They're all fighting each other. And in the meantime, the grappler falls out of the ring, and Oliver's going after him. And Oliver's got that bar in his hand. And he's chasing that grappler again, just like last Saturday night. He's chasing him back towards the dressing room, maybe out into the parking lot. And in the ring right now, we have complete mayhem. We got everything. What that was when the logging industry, they call that a cheater bar. And I'm telling you, the grappler was very lucky to escape last Saturday night and to make it here tonight. And now it's coming down. It's showdown time right here at the Portland Sports Arena, the house of action. Rip Oliver is ready, but I don't see the grappler. Where's the grappler? Well, Ladies Rip and gentlemen, the next event will be one fall to a finish. Introducing in this corner, 248 pounds, the king of the log cut drivers, Rip Oliver. Did you ever think you'd hear a crowd cheer for Rip Oliver? Man, they've been doing it the past couple of three weeks. Don Owens, last week the deal was, Barry Owens said he'd give me the match tonight. All the wrestlers be escorted out of this building where there won't be no interference. Grappler and myself right here. And I'm going to do just what I promised all these people I was going to do. I'm going to kick the butt. All right, Rip Oliver telling it like it is. And that's right. That was the stipulation. Uh, all the other wrestlers. Last, week, last Saturday night, Barry Owens said he'd give me the match. The match was signed. All the wrestlers escorted out of the building, completely out of the building, locked out where they can't get back in. And it's just Grappler and myself. So Grappler, get out here. That's right. All the other wrestlers have to be taken from the building. Okay, tell the security guards to get everybody out of the building. All right, now let's make sure that this that this happens. Some of you go out front, some of them out the other way. We're going to swing our cameras around here and see if we can get a uh, shot of the wrestlers being escorted from the building. And boy, it'd be impossible to count everybody, but uh, there, there, there they go. Well, that looks like the crowd leaving the building. But somewhere in there, we've got wrestlers that are going to be escorted outside the building, I think out into the parking lot. That was one of the, that was one of the things Come that Rip out, Oliver Let's get going. insisted upon. No interference in this match. This is more than a grudge match. Grappler, you can run it high, but it's just me and you tonight, Daddy. There's Al Madrill. There's Brian Adams. Not looking too happy, but they are leaving the building. 
Under secure. There's Scotty the body. I see. And he was the one that said, oh, I'm not going to leave. Oh, there he goes. So long, Snot. There, they're going, all going outside into the parking lot. Looks like they're all there. Now, where is the grappler? We're still awaiting. Did the grappler That's right, the grappler, come right on here, buddy. I got something uh, your daddy should have given you a long time ago. Here he comes. Here comes the grappler. Left hand and wrist bandage. Man approaching the ring. 252 pounds. He's, is the grappler. Well, he's approaching very cautiously right now. A lot of effort. Oh, here comes Rip Oliver. And so much for caution. There goes a body slam. Look out on the floor. Holy mackerel. Rip Oliver wasting no time. Don Owen got out of there. Oh, that was uh, smart. This guy, this thing is underway right now. There's a bread match. Look out, look out, look out. Boy, Don better watch himself out there. And Rip Oliver has got the grappler where he wants him on his knees begging for mercy a hard fight there's that thumb that bandaged thumb of rip oliver's going to work into the throat of the grappler and now the grappler being jammed face first into the turnbuckle into the ropes he goes a clothesline man i tell you rip oliver fighting this one for his family there's a lot of family pride family blood in this one and he's fighting this one for the loggers of the northwest because the grappler has uh man he's put everybody down when he when he gets going that get mouth of his gets going and uh, there's hardly anybody that escapes except uh, people the likes of uh, Brian Adams and Al Madrill, people like that. There's Rip Oliver popping the grappler on top of the head. There's another hard shot and the grappler's down on his back. Man, I'll tell you, this is not going to be pretty. This is not going to be pretty at all. This is, there's no love lost and a whole lot of bad blood between these two right here. As uh, Rip the crippler, going, he's just choking the grappler. And now he gets an eye full of the of a, what are fingers or palm of the hand from the grappler. And now the grappler, the heart jab, another heart jab. And the crippler is hurting right now. He's, uh, he's, he's, I think he's been blinded by that shot right in the eyes. There he goes into the ropes and a hard clothesline by the grappler. And uh, Rip is down. And now the grappler is choking Oliver. And I tell you, this thing's going to be going back and forth. I have a feeling this will be a fight to the finish, but at least there will be no interference because everybody else, all the other wrestlers, are outside. And now the grappler, as the tables are turning now, the grappler, with the momentum going in his favor, a body slam on uh, Rip Oliver, and now the elbow drop across the chest or across the throat, hard to tell. And the crippler kicks out to the delight of the crowd. Man, I tell you, this, these fans in here, they are 100% behind Rip the Crippler, I thought I'd never say that, but boy, they are. They have no use for somebody like the grappler. Oh, and he, as the grappler throws Rip Oliver face first into that iron post. Now, Rip did get his, uh, his arms up there to block that, but he still caught part of it with his forehead. And now the grappler just bent. He's closing in. He is moving in hard and fast now. And he just took a right hand from the crippler. Yes, sir, and that rocks the grappler. That grappler comes back with a right hand of his own. The grappler face first to goes rip the crippler into the apron of the ring. And now these men going at it tooth and nail. Just, oh, look out, look out. Oh, man, it's the grappler going shoulder first into that iron post. I'm telling you, that post wins every single time. And here comes Rip Oliver getting into the ring. And the grappler on his knees again, begging for some mercy. Now, come on, Rip, can't we be some friends? I really do like the loggers. I like those spotted owls. I like everything. But I don't like that jab. No, I don't like that. And there's a right hand by Rip Crippler. And the Crippler going at it now. He's going to bite him. He's biting the Crippler. Where is he? I don't know. On the, on the face or the neck or something. And Rip the Crippler. You know, he better break. And he does. The forearm smash across the chest of the Crippler. As Rip Oliver, a hard chop, another hard smash. And the Crippler staggered. He staggered out of the ring. He's on his feet, though. And where's he going? The grappler heading back towards the dressing room. And Rip Oliver slams him into the guardrail. He slammed him into the guardrail. Now he's taking him back towards the ring, throws him into the ring. Now there is no way that Rip the Crippler wants the grappler anywhere else but right in the middle of the ring. He doesn't want the grappler trying to go back towards the dressing room or out towards the parking lot where all of his other buddies are. As the grappler slithers out of the ring like Jonathan Boyd's pipe on, and now the grappler's going to jog back towards the dressing room, and he is met back there 
before he can even get to the stairs. He's met by Rip Oliver, and Oliver, a hard right hand. Staggers the grappler, another right hand, and the gra they're fighting back now towards the ring, and he slams the grappler face first into a chair. Oh, <laughs> and now he slams him into the iron post, and the grappler is looking a little groggy out there. His eyes are glassy as he rolls into the ring and then slithers back out again. There is no way the grappler wants to be in there with Rip Oliver. Uh-uh. Rip Oliver, too much fire in Oliver's eyes. Yes, sir. Too, uh, the grappler knows that he that he's gonna he's getting the worst of it right now. And if he stays in there with Rip the Crippler, things are not gonna bode too well for the grappler unless he does something like that, throwing Oliver shoulder first again into the iron post. And now the grappler, what's he doing? He's reaching down into his boot. He pulled something out of his boot. What's he got there? Brass knuckles? Yeah, he's got He's got, a, he's got some brass knuckles he pulled out of his boot. Well, this is an anything goes match. Anything, and anything's going right now. As he's got those brass knuckles and he brings them down across the back of the head of Rip Oliver. And Oliver is hurting now. He's definitely hurting. That wasn't, no, those weren't brass knuckles. Those were handcuffs. Those were handcuffs. And now he's going to handcuff Oliver. He's going to handcuff him to the, to the ring. He's got him handcuffed to the, uh, to the turnbuckle bar. And now he's just flailing away on Rip Oliver. I can't imagine they... Wait a minute. Here comes here comes Larry Oliver. That's Rip's son. Larry Oliver is in there coming to the aid of his dad. But now he's painting... Wait a minute. He's just a kid. Just a kid, Grandpa, for crying out loud. Come on, take it. He, he chopped Larry right in the throat. And now Larry... And that's not a thing Rip Oliver can do. First the grappler attacks Rip Oliver's brother, and now he's attacking his son in the ring. And his son is not a wrestler. He's, he's been a football player for, for Oregon City High School, but, but man, he's not a, he's not a wrestler. And the gra he, grappler doesn't care. He doesn't have any heart. He doesn't care at all. What you got more? He's got more handcuffs in those boots of his. Well, he's reaching for something in there. Hey, he just, he just laid one on Sandy Bar, the referee. And now he's still attacking Larry Oliver, the son of Rip Oliver, and there's not a thing Rip can do because he is handcuffed to the ring. Oh, no, 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 no. The grappler's got that chemical stuff. He's going to burst open that, that chemical container, and he's going to, I know, he's going to try to spit it into the eyes of Larry Oliver. And, oh, no, come on. No, he can't pass it. Now, referee Sandy Barr comes up behind Grappler. All right, trying to restore some kind of law and order. There is no way that Sandy Barr wants to see that Grappler spit that kind of stuff in the face of Larry Oliver. Now we've got security people in there. We've got to restore some kind of law and order some kind of control, some semblance of control as the security people are taking the grappler out of there, back towards the dressing room. Rip Oliver there with his son Larry and Sandy Barr. I don't know if he's got a key to those uh, handcuffs. I guess he does. Trying to free Rip Oliver from the uh, from the ring post there. As uh, the security people have have taken Rip uh, have taken the grappler back towards the dressing room and uh, and now Oliver is free, and he's checking. His son's okay. Oliver's all right. But I don't... As far as Oliver's concerned, this match is not through. This match is not finished. He wants the grappler back there. He wants the grappler back there. I have a feeling that... Uh, but let's keep it here for, for right now, Larry Neat. Let's, let's, let's just keep it here right now, because... There's, Rip's got a score to settle. He's going to race back towards the dressing room. We may not see this score being settled. As, uh, I don't, oh, yeah, there they are back there. They're, they're, well, they were fighting against the wall there. And now, is that Don Owen back there? That looks like Don Owen. And there's Rip. I don't see the grappler. And here comes, uh, here comes Don. I have a, well, maybe I better get up here into the interview area of the crow's nest. I have a feeling that Rip Oliver is going to... Uh